Three years ago, we've introduced you to two characters, Andrew and Dustin. Since then, we've premiered the documentary at various comic conventions. Due to positive feedback received online, we've decided to show it on TVO and PBS. There have been a lot of rumor regarding about the story, if it's true or falsified. And I can guarantee you that everything is true. Now we're here today to update you on Andrew and Dustin in the Pokemon Nerds 2, three years later. So Dustin, it has been three years since we last met up with you. Um, can you tell us what you have been up to? Um, um, I'm engaged to a Victoria's Secret supermodel right now. And I've been designing buildings all over the world. I'm a normal man now. Yes! <laughs> wow, Dustin, I'm so excited for you. Um, <laughs> but are you still into Pokemon? Um, no. I'm into uh, Jersey Shore. Um, Grey Goose uh, Vodka. And I'm... And... And I'm interested in bicep girls. Yeah. Would you like me to take off my shirt? No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Hey, Andrew, you look so much different. But I'll ask you about it later. Yep. I'm a pretty tough and cool guy. Not gonna lie. Hey, that rhymes. Freestyle. 2010. Doing it. What? Black and white. What? Bicep curls. What? Fist pumping. What? What? Huh? Hey guys, it's great to see both of you again. You guys look fantastic. Yep. I've been blasting my biceps and I've been drinking 30 milliliters of protein powder between every set. Bro. Huh? Bro Sif. What? Bro. You need to blast your pecs, and you need to drink 30 milliliters of Animal Zoo Creatine Kaboom between every set. Nah, protein. Protein! Okay. That's right. Andrew, how much weight did you lose? Uh, I lost 130 pounds. But we're not here to talk about that right now. We'll talk about that later. Right now, we're here to clear the air about part one. The way we were depicted is totally not who we are at all. It was completely falsified. It was edited to depict us in a negative delusional light. And in part two, we're here to show the entire world that we are normal men. We're here to set the record straight. That's right. Guys, part one was an edit to depict you into a negative light. It was meant to show the world that two young men who are lovable and different than normal everyday people. It wasn't meant to be a black and white portrayal of the nerdy subculture. Just because you're into a Pokemon doesn't make you guys a loser. Black, black and, and white. white. Black and black white. And white. <laughs> Dude, did you catch Zekrom yet? No, not yet. Did you? Uh, I'm gonna get Reshiram, you get Zekrom, we'll trade, and then trade back so we can get him in a Pokedex. Okay, sure, and I still have lots of Pokemon I want to trade over too, to and evolve. To evolve them? Okay, yep. I'm so excited, we're gonna do it later over Wi-Fi. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, like, <laughs> we're still into Pokemon, Yeah. but Andrew, right now he's in the pure police force right now, and me. I'm engaged to the Victoria's Secret super sexy model. True. Yes. Wow, congratulations. Um, by the way, where did you get your ring? Uh, I got mine from uh, Walmart. It was 5,000 carats. Yeah, 5,000 carats. Welcome back to the humble abode. To Casa, see you Casa. You remember that comrades? Three years later and we're still training here every day. Rain, snow, thunderstorms, earthquakes. We're here training. And you wanted to know how I lost 130 pounds? Well, we're about to show you, baby. Every day we train in martial arts. 
weightlifting, sprinting, and we even get our dance song. That's right. Every physical aspect of human nature you can think of, we try it right here every day for 45 minutes, seven days a week. No, 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 no. Eight, nine days a week. That's right. Nine days a week, we're here, baby. We work so hard, you can't even understand, yo. Yeah, you, you can't even understand how we get to nine days a week. It's like the hyperbolic time chamber from Dragon Ball Z, baby. Like, time doesn't mean a thang. Ain't no thang. Ain't no thang. So, we're gonna show you how I lost 130 pounds through martial arts. I chose Muay Thai because I think that shoe suits me the best. I chose it because it suits me the best, the best. What about you? For me? <laughs> Capilera. <laughs> because I care about my surroundings. Ready to fight? <laughs> Just sparring, baby. You don't want to get hit by uh, one of my tiger shots. Yeah. All right, I'll S stay back. Stay away from us. <laughs> or a jaguar tooth, or one of his, uh, <laughs> his, uh, uh, what's a move that you- Tornado did? kick. Tornado Was kick. it? Tornado <laughs> kick, yeah, yeah. Yatta! Yeah. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Round one, fight. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger knee! Tiger knee! Jaguar tooth! Bulk up! Attack and defense up stage one. Stage one, stage one. Sword stands! Oh no, it's two stages! <laughs> Dynamic punch, sucker punch! I use two moves at once because because Muay Thai lets you, me use two moves at once. Wow, you're tough. So are you, you ready to Call this a draw? Yeah, I think so too. Draw! I think, I think A-Bomb is evolving. But before we draw, it's time <laughs> to show you the fighting style of Bruce Lee. Me? Bruce Lee style. Wing Chun. Wing Chun. <laughs> and, uh, did you know that? I'm Bruce Lee's cousin, yo. That's not fair. <laughs> Stop saying that. My cousin is the guy on Lost. <laughs> Scared? <laughs> no! Ready? <laughs> Fight! Wait, 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 wait. I don't I I think we're gonna have to call this one a draw too. Yeah, I think so too. You've heard tell. So are you. Ready? Draw! You got that right, comrade. <laughs> you remember that, baby? You remember that? Now we take the best moves from anime, video games, and manga and combine them into our own fighting style called Anime MMA or Anime MMA for short. <laughs> I'm Tarakian! <laughs> the rockin' fighting type Tarakian <laughs> knows the move. Sacred Sword. Sacred Sword. <laughs> I'm Keldio, the water and fighting type horse. Nay! 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 <laughs> Is this training just to lose weight and get fit, or is there another reason for it? Well, don't put this in the documentary, but Dustin and I have been trained to become superheroes. You know how Batman is the hero of Gotham? Well, we need to be the heroes of the greater Toronto area. I'll be the head hero, Batman, and he's going to be my trusty sidekick, Robin. Is this training just to lose weight and get fit, or is there another reason for it? Okay, don't put this in the documentary, okay? Um, you know how Batman is the hero of Gotham? Me? I'm gonna be just like him, 
but the hero of the greater Toronto area and him is gonna be a, the, my trusty psychic Robin. <laughs> 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 <laughs>